We're also following a developing story for you this morning. A shootout in South Philadelphia leaves a police officer injured and a teenager killed. Eyewitness News reporter Rusty Matei is live at police headquarters in Spring Garden to explain what led up to this death. Good morning to you, Ross. Good morning to you, Janelle. Yeah, the officer who is hurt as a result of this shooting did have to receive medical treatment, but the outcome of this shooting was much worse for the two teenagers involved. One of them now in custody, and the other one was shot and killed. Let's take you back to the beginning and explain how this all unfolded. Officers telling us that around 7:20 last night, Philadelphia police, uh, four members of the South Task Force, were doing some surveillance in South Philly, right near the intersection of 18th and Barbara. They were dressed in plain clothes, wearing bulletproof vests and their badges around their necks while riding in an unmarked police vehicle when they came across two teenage boys on bicycles and they noticed that one of them had a handgun. When they turned on their emergency lights and declared that they were, in fact, police officers, they say one of those teenagers fired at least one shot into their vehicle with the officers still inside and they were very fortunate none of them were hit. The bullet went through the passenger side rear window and, um, we're very lucky, missed the officers in the back seat, and it uh, embedded in the passenger side headrest. And after that first shot, two of the four officers in the vehicle got out and chased the teenagers on foot, firing shots at them and eventually hitting one of those teenagers in the chest. That teen was rushed to Penn Presbyterian Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. An officer was also taken to the hospital to be treated for glass in his eye as a result of the first shot, and that officer is now in stable condition. We mentioned the second teenager that they do have in custody. We know that teenager is 17 years old, and the two officers that fired multiple shots at the teens have been placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. We're live outside of police headquarters. Ross DiMatteis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Ross. Appreciate it.